Welcome back. Chem 110B, Chapter 9, Dilution Without Reaction. These are the ones that include unknown concentrations in the problem. These are found on page 149, 150, example problems and explanations. Exercises are 9G, and these are problems 13 through 17. The key here is to keep doing it the same way you do all the problems, keeping the same setup for dilution without reaction. Beakers, keeping track of moles on the side, adding them up. And then read carefully the problem to allow that to tell you what you need to calculate. Okay. A solution is made by mixing 49 milliliters of an unknown concentration lithium nitrate solution with 86 milliliters of 3.3 molar lithium sulfide. If the final lithium ion concentration is 4.8 molar, what is the unknown lithium nitrate solution concentration? All right. We got beakers. We always got beakers. All right. So what are they? And what do they tell us? 49 milliliters of the lithium nitrate of which we do not know what that concentration is. That's what we want to find out. Added to 86 milliliters of 3.3 .3 molar lithium sulfide. They also tell us that at the end the lithium ion concentration is 4.8 molar. They want to know what this is. All right, well, I think it's pretty clear that the only thing we really need to worry about here is the lithium ion, because the lithium ion is all we get here. We know there's lithium ions here, and we know if we know what the lithium ion concentration is here, it's going to be the same as the lithium nitride. So that's what we want to try to find, the lithium ion concentration here. What else do we know? Well, we always can add up the volumes. 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 13, 135, 135 milliliters at the end. Okay. We also can find the lithium ion concentration here pretty simply, right? Isn't it double? There are two lithium ions per every one lithium sulfide. So the concentration of lithium ions, there's two of them floating around, is 6.6 .6 molar in this beaker. Now remember, one of the things that's a big key here is to recognize that every time you have a concentration in moles per liter and a volume, you're going to find out the moles. But where can we do that? We can't do that here because we don't know the concentration of the lithium ion. That's what we're really trying to figure out. However, check it out. We know the moles of lithium ion and the volume, so we can find the moles of lithium moles per liter and the volume in liters, we can find the moles. Moles per liter, volume in liters, we can find the moles, which means we can go backwards and find it here. And just for fun, because I want to make sure I'm doing this right, do me this favor. Let's change this to 8.8. .8. I'm making up this problem in my head, and I want to make sure I'm doing it right. So, the final lithium ion concentration is 8.8 .8 molar. All right, so how do we go about doing this? Well, let's figure out the moles of lithium ion here and the moles of lithium ion here, and then we'll think it through. I'll do the calculation right underneath. 6.6 .6 moles of lithium ion per one liter times 0.086 liters. The only reason why I change that in the problem has nothing to do with you or anything that you have to worry about. I was afraid that when I was making up the problem I might have goofed up the results. 
by having a wrong value. This should be just fine. So moles times liters, or moles per liter times liter, gives us what? Well, 6.6 .6 times 0 0.086 equals 0 0.5 six seven six four to two sig fig zero point five seven moles of lithium ion in the second beaker. Good. So zero point five seven moles of lithium ion come from that second beaker. How many moles of lithium ion do we have at the end? Well if we know there's eight point eight moles of lithium ion at the end For one liter, but we don't have one liter, we have 0.135 liters. Liters cancel. This will give us 8.8 .8 times 0.135 equals 1.188. And again, to two sig figs, we're talking about uh, 1.2 moles of lithium ion at the end, right? This is the concentration of lithium ion at the end. This is the volume at the end. So we have 1.2 moles of lithium ion at the end. Okay, well, how is this problem different from the others? Pretty simple. We're working backwards. If we know we end up with 1.2 moles, and we have 5 point, or 0 0.57 moles from this beaker, the rest of it has to come from this beaker, right? So the total minus the one contributor has to equal the other contributor. So if we take 1.2 moles minus 0 0.57 moles, end minus second beaker, This will be the moles of lithium ion in the first beaker. Does that make sense to you? So it is 1.2 minus 0 0.57. Your 0.57. 1.2. Minus 0.57. 0 0.63. But where am I drawing the line? Oh, 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 right there. Right? Because that's two sig figs. And that's two. This is huge. 0 0.6 moles is all we can use on that first number of moles in that first beaker, right? 0 0.6 moles is the amount in that first beaker. If we divide by the volume in that first beaker, that gives us the concentration of lithium in that first beaker, which is the same as the concentration of the lithium nitri nitrate. Moles per liter. Moles in the first beaker divided by volume in the first beaker gives us concentration in the first beaker. So 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.049. That value out of my calculator is 12. Point Two, four, four, eight, nine, seven, nine, six. But how many sig figs is in my answer? Just one. So one times ten to the one molar. One times ten to the one molar lithium nitrate. One times ten to the one molar lithium ion. It's 12 molar, but it's only known to one sig fig.
can you see how important it is that you pay attention to your sig figs on a problem like this? Every single number in this calculation, in terms of the problem, made you believe that the answer would have two sig figs. But every time you have addition subtraction going on, you can change the number of sig figs. You just did. Don't get confused by 12 and how to write it to one significant figure. It's the same as it always is. Every time we do it the same way. Okay, the final answer here. 1 times 10 to the 1 molar. Funky problem, but the way you go about your business is exactly the same way. Figuring out the moles based on the concentration of moles per liter times the volume in liter. Concentration of moles per liter times the volume in liter. Working it backwards, you have no choice but to get that answer. Okay, you got some practice. This kind of problem is going to be coming at you, so be ready for it. Good luck.